Wait, did the Galaxy S26 Ultra just lose two of its only meaningful enhancements over the S25 Ultra? The S26 Ultra is what many tech-savvy Android fans are yearning for at the moment. Granted, the just-unveiled Galaxy Z Trifold is very fancy and wall, but only a handful of you need a 10-inch trifoldable or are ready to pay for it. There are a ton of exotic Android phones out there that aren't made by Samsung, but it's Samsung's yearly Galaxy S Ultra model that many opt to spend their hard-earned money on. Whether it's because there are many Samsung lovers out there or people just stick with the most popular Android brand in the world, it doesn't really matter to the headquarters in Korea. Hey, as long as people keep on buying the new Ultra, everything's okay. But how long until even staunch Samsung fans turn on their favorite brand? The issue is, the S26 Ultra might have just lost two of its only meaningful advancements over its predecessor, the fan-favorite S25 Ultra. What is a flagship? Among other things, it's the premium feel associated with it. You can distinguish a flagship even with your eyes closed. When you hold it in your hands, you can feel the excellent build. If you look at it, things just get better. A flagship's design is sleek and exquisite, even if it's not to your taste. Then you fire it up, and everything happens in the blink of an eye. Programs don't stutter or crash, games don't lag, and the display is lovely and bright. The pictures are out of this world, and the speakers are much superior to those of lesser phones. However, it's a bit strange that mid-ranges are starting to have effectively what are two, and even three, day batteries. For example, Anna's rumored Power 2 phone could arrive with 10,000 milliamps of capacity on board. That's precisely two times the Galaxy S25 Ultra's 5,000 milliamps capacity. Of course, Samsung's flagship would unabashedly wipe the floor with Honor's mid-ranger in terms of performance and performance, but the bitter taste in the mouth remains. I'm not arguing for 10,000 milliamps batteries in flagships. That would make them too big for too many people. But I do think that it's a serious blind spot for flagships now. That being stated, the Galaxy S26 Ultra was eventually to break away from the 5,000 milliamps capacity cells of its predecessors. Yes, that's six years of 5,000 milliamp cells, and the S26 Ultra was rumored to top them with its modest 5,200 milliamps, a leak stated some weeks ago. The extra 200 milliamps of capacity wouldn't make that much of a difference either, but teamed with a more efficient chipset and new display innovation, it might pass as a real improvement and the real-life battery could be enhanced. Now, a chilly shower falls down on our parade in the form of a very thorough comparison list between the S26 Ultra and the S25 Ultra, courtesy of the well-known and extremely credible Ice Universe tipster on X. In it, it's plainly mentioned that the new flagship would, once again, for the eighth year in a row, come with a 5000 milliamps battery. However, it's going to gain 60 watt of wired charging speeds over its predecessor's 45 watt. It's something. Given this tipster's reliability, I'm ready to wager my money on the 5,000 milliamps rumor, not the 5,200 milliamps. What about the rest of it? The S26 Ultra is to get the latest and greatest in terms of chipset, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. That's a clear boost over the previous Snapdragon 8 Elite, but only if you care the most about maximum raw power. In actuality, the Snapdragon 8 Elite and the even older Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, for that matter, is incredibly capable and quick too. Next, we're going to get the same amount of RAM, up to 16 gigs. However, Samsung could use LPDDR5X memory, low power double data rate 5X, which implies it could achieve faster speeds and make the phone feel even snappier. I must crush your optimism at this exact moment though, RAM is insanely expensive these days and Samsung could slam some price hikes on the Galaxy S26 family in 2026. Moving on to the design. Allegedly, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is to be 0.3mm slimmer and 4 grams lighter than the Galaxy S25 Ultra. On paper, it's an achievement. But in real-life usage scenarios, how frequently would you congratulate Samsung for making your phone less than half a millimeter thinner? How much easier to lift would the S26 Ultra be with its 214 grams of total rumored weight? The cameras are apparently also skipping a substantial upgrade. Samsung is believed to maintain the same ISO cell HP2 sensor for the main camera, 
while the rest of the cameras could inherit their megapixel count from the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Funny enough, the 3X telephoto might have a physically smaller sensor, but I think we'll have to live with that. Then, there's the display. I'll need a whole other section discussing it. Don't get too high on the new M14 OLED material. Speaking of things that'll keep the same, consumers can expect the 6.9-inch display to arrive once again with 2,600 nits of brightness and the 1 to 120 Hz refresh rate. However, the Galaxy S26 Ultra might utilize the M14 OLED material. We've written extensively about it in the past, and everybody's really psyched about it. Everybody, save for Ice Universe. According to this information, the M14 luminous material in the S26 Ultra may offer little significant improvement in display performance compared with other devices employing the same panel, such as the Chinese iQOO 15. The leakster claims that whereas the iQOO 15 pushes the M14 panel to its maximum capabilities, attaining better peak brightness, wider color gamut, and high frequency dimming, Samsung appears to prioritize battery saving over visual performance on the S26 Ultra. To preserve battery life with its 5000 mAh cell, the device apparently limits the display to 8-bit color depth, caps brightness at 2600 nits, and uses low-frequency pulse width modulation, constraining the panel's capabilities. As a result, the M14 panel on the S26 Ultra may work more as a power-saving technique than as a means to give top-tier display performance. It's slightly adjusted to 25 Ultra. If the leaks stand up, the Galaxy S26 Ultra might be in danger with enthusiasts searching for legitimate reasons to upgrade. After years of gradual updates, losing major gains in both battery and display, everybody cares about them makes the S26 Ultra feel less like a true flagship and more like a slightly adjusted S25 Ultra. And finally, a new S26 Ultra leak reveals planned color possibilities of the forthcoming flagship phone. Samsung is gearing up to introduce its latest Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 phone lineup, the S26 series. While the company has yet to formally announce the series, previous leaks have revealed a lot about the future phones, and now the possible color possibilities of the S26 Ultra have appeared. To be specific, a collection of new wallpapers has been noticed in One UI 8.5, and they are believed to represent the color options of the S26 Ultra. Now, while the source of the leak isn't as prominent as earlier tipsters, trustworthy leaker Ice Universe seems to be corroborating the leak. Interestingly, among the leaked wallpapers is one with an orange theme, hinting that the phone could be sold in an orange coloring. This is something that the earlier leaks have already hinted at. Besides the orange-themed wallpaper, there are ones with silver, white, pink, black, and turquoise themes. That means there could be a total of six color variations available for the S26 Ultra. Of course, not all of them might be offered at ordinary retail locations. Instead, like the past lineups, Samsung could offer a couple of them as online exclusive hues, and it's probable that the orange colorway will be one of them. Max Jumbo, a famous tipster, has also previously revealed that the usual hues of the S26 Ultra will be black, white, silver, and pink. That said, these wallpapers aren't the only thing that has been lately revealed through One UI 8.5. A buried code within the update has partly confirmed a long overdue upgrade for the S26 series, which we have. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech news and updates.